Hello and welcome to your instructional video about how to play League of Legends. League of Legends, also known as LOL, is a game where two teams of five battle against each other in an arena called Summoner's Rift. Warning, teammates are not always nice. But why would you ever play League of Legends? Did you see Arcane? Do you hate yourself? Or did your friends force you to play? Well, I'm here to teach you the basics and become your emotional support. Warning, I'm from a gold player, not the most experienced. We have five different players who fill the five different roles. We have top, jungle, mid, bot, and support. You do different stuff depending on which role you play. And depending on which role you play, you play different champions. But you might ask, what are champions? Champions are the characters you play. From space dragon to gods, to warriors, to humanoid lizards, to mad scientists, to a child with a teddy bear. These characters are the fundamental for the game. Now pick a champion, learn the champion, learn the champion's role, and start your journey. Top lane, also known as the island, is where the champions who are most potent at dueling one against one thrive. These champions often have short ranges but have powerful attacks and great durability. Bruisers are those who have more damage and tanks are those who have more durability. Jungle is probably the most difficult role to learn. As a jungler, you need to balance between helping your team and keeping yourself strong by killing the jungle monsters. Most junglers can balance between the two, but excels at one. The ganking junglers are those who excels at ganking, helping the laners. And the farming junglers are those who stay in the jungle to make themselves powerful. Mid lane is the most centric role. Champions in the mid lane are often those who have ton of damage but sacrifice survivability. These champions can be classified as mages and assassins. Mages have a larger attack range and use their spells as their main source of damage. Assassins excels at using movement speed and high damage quickly. Bot lane can also be called ADCs, attack, damage, carry. These characters use their normal attacks, auto attacks. These are the attacks you do with your left mouse button. Like mid laners, they excel at doing damage but with less durability and survivability. But unlike mid laners, ADCs often lack self protection. That's why there are two players in the bot lane. Supports are self explanatory, they support the team. Supports can often be categorized in two different classes enchanters and engaged supports. Enchanters can heal, protect you with shields, and it also gives you other buffs and advantages to help you fight. Engaged supports are those who like to start a fight. They are more durable than enchanters, which makes it easier for them to protect with their body rather than spells. These are more generalized explanations, but there are of course exceptions. And you can add extra power to them depending on which rune and spell you pick. Runes and spells are customizable power-ups or extra abilities to help you spice up your gameplay. Now then, how do you play the game? Your objective is to kill the Big Rock, also known as the Nexus. Wowzers. To reach the Nexus, you have to take down turrets. The turrets can defend themselves and or is guarded by the enemy player. So then, with all these factors, how do you take down the turret? By getting rid of the enemy player and pushing your minions into the tower. What are minions? Minions are your slaves, <coughs> allies who spawn in every 30 seconds who help you push into the towers. With the tower focused on the minions, you can now destroy the tower. But wait, your attacks does little to none damage. How do you increase your damage? By leveling up or buying items. You level up by gaining experience. You gain experience when killing enemy players or killing enemy minions. And you gain items by buying them in your spawn. How do I reach spawn, you may ask? By pressing B. At spawn, you can buy items and rest until you're ready to go to your next battle. But you may ask, how do I get enough currency, gold, to buy my items? You can get gold 
by killing minions, killing enemy champions, destroying turrets, and killing neutral objectives. What are neutral objectives, you may ask? Neutral objectives are objectives that both teams can kill and gain an advantage. There are three types of neutral objectives. Dragons who give a small power-up, and by killing four dragons, you get a big power-up. There are seven different dragons with their own power-ups. The second neutral objective are heralds, who kill the tower faster by charging into them and destroying them. The third and last neutral objective is baron. By killing baron, you get a big power-up, which make you kill faster and get more gold. So in conclusion, I would recommend scrolling through the champions tab, pick a champion, learn the champion, learn the basics, learn how to win, keep playing, gain more experience, and keep your mental strong. And remember, next time you lose, always blame the jungler. No! <laughs> Fuck the hat. Like, but bro, but like Garen, this is him, not like us. Bro, your pen must slow hard! Who pick out and that me? Oh, you said you fucking dumbo. Ah! What the fuck can I have a build of set? Aldri set not fucking verre. Hey, Bazor, come on! There's. Oi. Oi. Did you say the magic gave on the coolest to spell? White line, fist off cream, good. Scallops, heavy cream. I'm walking out of the pantry and I realize as I see everybody's baskets, I forgot my eggs. The eggs are the critical component in a moose. I can't make moose if I don't have eggs. What's wrong with Jennifer? I need a minute. Without eggs, my moose cannot find me. This is supposed to be a Hawaiian dish. When I eat this, I cannot taste any form of Hawaiian here. There's so much you could have done with that grinder. You got an onion ring, you got a burger, and you got an egg. It's not very refined to me.